Hey everybody, Jimmy Heffernan is back here again for scales part two, major scales and what to do with them. We had a lot of success on the first one. Uh, I think a lot of you out there learned quite a bit from the first one. I'm trying to expand on that a little bit and show you uh, some of the techniques that you might want to use to uh, make single string lines big and fat, which is something all the top players use. And uh, we're also going to uh, look at the using the same scale in the key of D, so we're going to transpose it. A lot of people have written me and asked me uh, about how to transpose it, so we're going to dive into that and a few other things along the way. So uh, buckle your seatbelt and get ready for part two. That's an example of using some of the lower notes from the extended scale number two. <laughs> First three notes of the of the open string scale. And then when you start on, on different notes in the scale, it can uh, it can telegraph the sound of a certain chord. Let's see what a, what a B minor chord. That's the six minor in the key of D. Let's hear what that would sound like against that lick I just played. playing that chord by, by skipping the fifth string, playing every note but the fifth string, and I have the first two strings open. Now I'll play that lick. Here it has the sound of a B, mi uh, of a B minor, a six minor. Sounds like B minor, but I'm playing nothing but a pure D major scale. I'm just starting on different notes. So let's go up on top and see what that sounds like. Yeah, it sounds like the F sharp minor too. There really isn't a note I can't play in the D major scale. You hear how much smoother that sounds than 